the bore effect. What is it and why is it so important? I remember growing up playing sports and being out of breath and my coaches and people around me would tell me, Andrew, breathe, 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 thinking that I need more oxygen in my body, but that's actually not the case. And I'll tell you why. So arterial blood is almost fully saturated with oxygen between 95 and 99%. You can check, I have a WHOOP app, you can check this out. And a healthy individual, it's usually between 95 and 99% oxygen saturation levels, or SpO2. And what that means is taking in more oxygen doesn't actually have any added benefits. So it's not about getting more oxygen. It's actually about the CO2, the carbon dioxide. Now, when we over breathe and we're breathing too much, <laughs> our CO2 levels drop. And CO2 is the gas that is telling our body that we need to breathe. It reaches air hunger. So the more CO2 that builds, it's telling us that we need to breathe and then we take a breath. But if we're not mindful of our breathing, we're stressed out or we're playing sports or we're doing this or that and we're taking in so much oxygen, our CO2 levels go down. And one of the key players in this Bohr effect is hemoglobin. And hemoglobin is a protein found in the blood whose main function is to carry oxygen from the lungs to the cells and the organs of the body. And the kicker is that hemoglobin only releases oxygen when in the presence of carbon dioxide. So we think we need to take in more oxygen and oxygen and oxygen, but what we're doing is actually depleting our carbon dioxide. So we have all of this hemoglobin with oxygen that's not actually able to be delivered through the body. It's holding onto the oxygen. So it's, it's a paradox. By taking in more oxygen, we're actually reducing the oxygenation throughout the body. So the problem is not a lack of oxygen in the body. We're saturated between 95 and 99%. The problem is that the oxygen is not being released throughout the body and the blood and the organs and the cells to oxygenate our entire system. And that happens when we have an increase of CO2. So how do we increase the CO2 levels in our body? Through slowing down, breathing mindfully, breath holds, there are a lot of different exercises, but that's the Bohr effect. And hopefully this changes your awareness, it did for me at least, to understand how the body works, how to oxygenate the body, and really the dangers of over-breathing, being mindful of that, and realizing that the CO2 is really the hero here, and that's the Bohr effect for you.